let's solve some math problems here. In the figure above, segment AB, segment CD, and segment EF are diameters of the circle. If y equals 2x minus 12 and the shaded area is one-fifth of the circle, what is the value of x? Since it is given here that segment AB, and uh, segment CD, and segment EF are diameters of the circle, therefore the sum of the angle, the angles um, XY, XY and the angle of the shaded region should be equal to 180 degrees. And it says here that the shaded area is just one-fifth of the circle. And the whole circle measures 360 degrees. Therefore, this one, the shaded region here is just one-fifth of 360 degrees. And that is just equal to 72 degrees. Therefore, the measure of the angle here is just equal to 72 degrees. Now we can add them up and equate to 180 degrees. So that would be x plus y plus 72 equals 180 degrees. And it's given here that y is equal to 2x minus 12. Then we can just substitute that value here. So we have x plus 2x minus 12 plus 72 equals 180. And then we group like terms. x would go with 2x. So that is x plus 2x equals 3x. And negative 12 would go with 72. And that would be 60 plus 60 equals 180 degrees. And then we subtract 60 from both sides. So we have 3x equals 120. And we divide both sides by 3. Therefore, the value of x is just equal to 40 degrees. The percent increase from 5 to 12 is equal to the percent increase from 12 to what number? Now let's recall that to solve for the percentage of a number, let's say percent x, and that is just equal amount of change divided by the original amount. Since we are not actually asked here for the percentage, so we can just set this up, set a, set this um, given here as a proportion. So we're given here the percent increase 5 is to 12. So that would be 12 minus 5 over 5, because 5 is the original amount, equals percent increase from 12 to what number? We don't know the number. So let's say the number is x. So that is x minus 12 over 12. Because the original number here is 12. And now we can solve the number. We just have to cross multiply this one. So we have this is just equal to 7, so this is 12 times 7 equals 5 times x minus 12. And this is just 84 equals 5x minus 60. 144, and we divide both sides by 5, and we get x equals 28.8. So the answer here is letter D.
if 2 fifth times 5x plus 2 times x minus 1 equals 4 times x plus 1 minus 2, what is the value of x? Now let's solve for the value of x. Uh, from here, okay, we can just um, cancel out 5 because 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. So we have 2x plus, and then you distribute 2 to the expression inside the parenthesis, which is equal to x minus 1. So that is 2x minus 2 equals, distribute 4 here. This is 4x plus 4 minus 2. Then we simplify. This is 4x minus 2 equals 4x plus 2. Okay, have you noticed here that we have 4x, positive 4x, and positive 4x on both sides? But we're, if we're going to transfer um, one of the 4x's here to the left or to the right, we will have a result that is equal to 0. So this cancels out. So we only, we're left with um, negative 2 equals 2. And since all of the variable terms here cancel out and the resulting numerical statement is false, so there is no solution to this equation. Therefore, our answer here is, okay, this one, letter C. There is no value for x for which the equation is true. Which of the following are solutions to the quadratic equation x minus 1 squared equals 4 over 9? Okay, so we're given this e quadratic equation here, x minus 1 squared equals 4 over 9. Now to solve for this one, for the solution which is equal to x, we just have to square root both sides. So that is the square root of x minus 1 squared equals the square root of 4 over 9. So we have x minus 1 equals 2 over 3 um, plus minus 2 over 3. And then we add 1 to both sides. Therefore, the value of our x is just equal to 1 plus minus 2 over 3. We don't have that here in our choices, so we need to um, simplify them. So the value of one of the solutions here is just 1 plus 2 third, and the other one is 1 minus 2 third. And this is just equal to 5 over 3. And this one is just equal to 1 over 3. Okay, so from our choices here, we have letter B. X equals 1 third or X equals 5 thirds. Given the function g of x equals 2 third x plus 7, what domain value corresponds to a range value of 3? Now to solve for the domain value, given the range value of 3. Okay, so let's recall that for the range, range value is the output. That means that is the value of our y or the value of the function. So in this case, the value of um, g of x and the domain value is the input that means that is the value of our x so we just have to substitute 3 the value of range value to the function g of x so that would be 3 equals 2 third x plus 7 then we subtract 7 from both sides so we have negative 4 equals 2 third x, and we divide 2 third 
uh, we divide both sides by by two thirds. Okay, this cancels out. So we have x equals negative 4 times 3 over 2. So this is just, okay, 4 cancels out. Uh, 4 is divisible by 2. So we're left with 2 here. So this is negative 6. So the value for our domain is just equal to negative 6. The answer must be letter A.